I eat dead things. Wait, that sounds weird. <laughs> but today's animal prefers things that have been dead for a long time. You should like, subscribe, and comment. And yes, this is a bird, but not just any bird. It's the bearded vulture. Say hi, Sari. Hi, Sari. Speaking of beards, I just did a commercial with James Harden. So keep an eye out for that in the future. Fear the beard. Okay, now back to our regularly scheduled programming. So yes, this is a vulture, but it's unique. Its diet consists of 70 to 90% of bone marrow. While most vultures eat the meat of carcasses, the bearded vulture eats the bone marrow. They do this cool thing. So, they crack bones to be smaller bones. They lift it up in the air, they drop it on rocks, it creates smaller bones, and then they eat it. Now they aren't born with this skill. It can take them up to seven years to master the perfect bone crack. They can digest large bones within 24 hours. That's because the acid is very concentrated in their stomachs. They love mountainous regions. You can find this vulture in Southern Europe, Africa, India, and Tibet. They live in mountainous regions. Have you been to Mount Everest? Are you shaking your head right now? Well, guess who has? The bearded vulture! They live in altitudes as high as 24,600 feet. You rarely see them below altitudes of 3,300 feet. How do they get that high up in the air? With the wingspan of 10 feet! Unlike other vultures, the bearded vulture has a full head of hair. The bearded vulture occupies a large territory year-round. It can forage two square kilometers every day. Their nests are huge! The females lay one to two eggs and usually incubate them from 50 to 60 days. It takes three to four months for them to leave the nest. That's what quarantine feels like right now. In the wild, these vultures can live up to 21 years, but in captivity, they can live up to 45. In Europe, these birds have a bad reputation because there's tales of them stealing babies and livestock. So it's like the tale of the stork, but in reverse. It's funny though, because in Iran, the bearded vulture is considered a symbol of luck and happiness. The Greek playwright Aeschylus was said to be killed by a bearded vulture when it dropped a tortoise on his head. What a fascinating bird, but I guess we have to watch our heads in case if we ever see one. Whoa, do you see that? Ah! You should like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Make sure you come back for some more cool videos.